Well, hi, this is Ken with Village Green, giving you your latest lawn health update. So what should you do if your St. Augustine looks like this, where it's struggling, it's kind of yellowish, but it, then it got damaged from the freeze of, of last year? What should you do with it? Well, a couple things not to do. What you don't want to do is to rake the lawn. Uh, because I know it's got all this dead stuff in it, but when this, as the St. Augustine starts to fill in, it'll fill in over the top of, of the dead organic material. Uh, but if you rake it, what you'll do is uh, you'll rake up all of the runners that are going to start trying to make their way across and, and try to fill in, and you'll actually harm the St. Augustine and delay the growth. So that's, that's one thing to do. Another is don't scalp it for the exact same reason. St. Augustine likes to have, likes to be mowed a little bit taller. And if you, if you really scalp it and, and try to cut, da cut back this dead grass, I know it looks a little ugly, but when you cut it back like that, then again, you damage those stolons or, or those runners that are going across. We also want to put out a uh, uh, root stimulating fertilizer. Nitrogen is not what this lawn needs right now. The, the high nitrogen fertilizers are going to stress the grass out because it's pushing the top growth. Instead, what we want to do is, is to put out uh, the fertilizer that we're using is an 18460 dimonium phosphate. And it's that middle number that, that's higher instead of the nitrogen at, at the beginning. And the reason for that is, is that that middle number helps helps the grass start bouncing back, helps the roots get reestablished, um, and we're not pushing the top growth because the, the top growth, when, when it really starts growing, if the roots are damaged, it, it will just cause more damage to, to the grass. So that, that's why we switch over to, to that root stimulating fertilizer. So those are, are a couple of tips for you. Eventually, this lawn has enough green in it that eventually it will bounce back. It'll take some months, but with, with the warm weather we're having now, it, it'll be okay. It, it'll just take some time. And again, the most important thing for this lawn is to make sure that, that it's getting well watered, especially in the June, July, August time frame when, when the rains tend to stop and we start getting into that triple digit weather. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and send them on to your friends and family. This is Ken with Village Green. Local experience you can trust.